This is some text I created in Inkscape using the hatch fill feature of the Inkscape Eggbot extension, which I originally used to fill text in when I'm using the drawing feature on my Cricut Maker. And I'll put the link to the video where I created this text in the video description below. Uh, and I recently purchased the Cricut foil transfer tool and I wanted to see if this would also work when using the foil transfer tool instead of drawing. And so I will select my text. I'm going to change the line type to foil and I'll use the medium tip for this. <clears throat> now for the placement of uh, the text onto my mat, I've taken a picture of my mat and I'm going to upload it set it to simple and I will continue and continue I'm going to bring this in as a print then cut image now on the mat I've cropped the image to only include the 12 by 12 gridded portion of the mat so I will insert this image and this is just so that I have a placeholder so that I can see where to place my text. Now I'm going to set the size of this image to 12 by 12 because that's the size of my mat. I will send this to the back and I will put my text right in the area there where I've got my foil taped to my piece of cardstock. Now in order to have everything correctly placed, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see our background. Cricut doesn't like sizes of things, especially print and cut that are 12 by 12. So we're going to need another placeholder. So I am going to add a shape and we'll put in a square and the maximum size that Cricut can handle is 11.25 square on this particular mat and I am going to change this to a draw and then I'm going to place that over my image and then in my layers view here I'm going to select my square and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom hold down my control key and also select my print and cut and once I've done that I'm going to align it center horizontally and then I will also center it vertically now once I've got that square centered I can go ahead now and hide my print and cut because I don't need that anymore so now I will select the square and my text and I'm going to attach them. Okay, now I'll click the make it button and I will go to continue and I'll select medium card stock and now we'll go to the maker. Okay, and the foil transfer tool comes with the uh, housing as well as three tips. There are little lines at the base of each tip showing uh, what the size of the tip is. One line is the fine, two is the medium, three is the broad. We're going to use the medium tip for this. And so to put it in, you just depress the plunger and stick it in with the lines facing out and then that's how you load the the foiling tip into the housing okay and then I will just remove my blade and put in the foiling tip now it's said to also put a pin in the A slot but we're not going to do that because our square was simply a base holder so that we could get our positioning and so it's going to do a dummy draw so I'll go ahead and I will load the mat and 
go ahead and now it will do the dummy draw so it's going to draw our 11.25 line or 11.25 inch square but since there isn't a pen in the A slot it doesn't matter all right now it's paused to give us a chance to put our foil on but since we already have I'll just go ahead and press the go button Okay, it's finished. I forgot to mention I'm using some Spellbinders Glimmer hot foil. This is foil for the hot foil system. I'm using the silver. Okay, so we'll just eject and we'll see how it did. Okay, I'll carefully remove the tape. See how it did. Ah. I'd say that looks pretty good. That's very pretty. Okay, for these extra little bits here, I'm just going to use my electric eraser and lightly go over this. And this is the result. Looks pretty nice. It does bleed a little bit, but I don't know if you can maybe rub it down. Let's see if I can rub this with a paper towel. Okay, and so now it's not bleeding quite so much. So here's the final result. So it looks like the hash fill works quite nicely. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!